Hi, and welcome to the Finbox Academy. As you learned in the first lesson of the Dividend Investing course, a dividend is a payment that shareholders receive for their investment in a company. One of the most popular dividend ratios is the dividend yield. In this lesson, you will learn everything you need to know about it. Are you ready? Let's start. The dividend yield is calculated by dividing the dividend per share paid by a company by the stock price per share. It indicates the percent return you're likely to receive in dividends on your investment. For example, as of July 26, 2020, Microsoft's stock price is $201.30 and it pays a $2.04 dividend. Its dividend yield is 1.01%. The dividend yield is a very useful metric. For example, if two companies have the same stock price, the company with the higher dividend will have a higher dividend yield, which means you'll receive a higher return from dividends for each dollar you invest. It's no coincidence that the dividend yield is an essential consideration for investors. Between 1988 and 2020, 51% of the S&P 500's cumulative return came from reinvesting dividends. The dividend yield is equal to the annualised dividends per share paid by a company divided by the stock price per share. The stock price per share is the current market value of a single share of stock. For example, Microsoft's current stock price share is $201.30. The annual dividend per share is equal to the sum of all dividends per share paid by a company for a year. There are several ways to calculate it, but the most common method is to multiply the latest dividend by the company's dividend frequency. As we saw in the first lesson of the course, the dividend frequency is a financial metric that tells you how often a company pays a dividend during a year. A dividend frequency of 4 indicates that the dividend is paid quarterly. Let's use the formula to calculate Apple's dividend yield. It is equal to Apple's annual dividend divided by Apple's stock price. Using the Finbox Data Explorer, we find the values of the formula's components. Apple's stock price per share is $375.52. The cash amount of the last dividend is $0.82 cents per share. And Apple's dividend frequency is 4. Based on the dividend frequency of 4, we can conclude that Apple pays dividends quarterly, so we can calculate the annualised dividend payout by multiplying the cash amount of the last dividend by the dividend frequency. We can now calculate Apple's dividend yield by dividing the annualised dividend payout by the stock price per share. You don't need to do the calculation alone, and you don't have to use a dividend yield calculator you can use the Finbox Data Explorer to access dividend yield data for 100,000 plus companies worldwide. The average dividend yield varies greatly among different sectors, so it is very useful to compare a company to its sector while evaluating its dividend yield. As of July 8, 2020, the sectors with the higher dividend yields are real estate, financials and utilities. The average dividend yield is low in many sectors since companies have cut or suspended their dividend to preserve cash and survive the coronavirus crisis. You can have up-to-date stats and graphs like that directly in Excel or in Google Spreadsheets with the Finbox Excel add-in. To download it for free, go to finbox.com forward slash integrations forward slash Excel. After you download the Excel add-in, you can download the sector benchmark model using the link in the description below. Many investors think they can get huge returns by investing in high dividend yield stocks, but historically this has not been the case. A good dividend yield provides a high return on your investment, but is also sustainable in the long term. As our trusted readers already know, we are data-driven investors here at Finbox, so let's check some data. In his book, What Works on Wall Street, James O'Shaughnessy divided the entire US stock market into 10 deciles based on dividend yields. The results of his backtest indicated that stocks in the top decile, 
those with the highest dividend yield, underperformed the second, third and fourth deciles, those with a lower dividend yield. The reason why? More often than not, high dividend yield stocks also come with higher risk. Prudent investors need to consider the context around a stock's dividend yield. Is the dividend payout sustainable based on cash flow? Does the company have a track record of increasing dividends year after year? Does the company operate in a sector with a strong headwind? A popular list to select high dividend yield stocks is the Dividend Kings, which are companies that have increased their dividend for 50 or more consecutive years. You can find the list of Dividend Kings on Finbox at the link in the description below. Once you're in the Investment Idea tool, you can sort stocks by dividend yield and select those with the highest one. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, because in the following days, we'll publish new videos that will help you learn everything about dividends for free. See you at the next lesson.